Okay, now it says I'm... Hi, my name is Neil Sandage. I'm trying to do this for Marco Rubio. Uh, he's a Florida senator. Also doing this for Rick Scott. Uh, defend the Uyghurs in China. Uh, anybody with eyebrows. Um, I've tried to explain this to Trump and everybody. And uh, basically, USA's army uh, through Raytheon and cognitive radar and RTMS, radar transcranial magnetic stimulation, uh, army.mil, NIH.gov, IEEE.org, specifically the Aerospace Division, which brings us back to Raytheon and Boeing and Northrop Grooming, Grooming, Grooman, uh, through um, the United Kingdom. Uh, you, you'll find more information over there than you will in the United States. And because uh, Echelon was this thing they created before 9-11 where the uh, United States blew up its own towers in order to hunt and kill anybody with eyebrows across the entire earth. Um, there are plenty of people who know that their family becomes fatter, and we've been giving them pork barrel shots. So we can use the eyebrows to hunt and kill their own race. Uh, that's what's going on with uh, Reagan here, where he says, I could see the United States one day being a very, very lonely uh, nation uh, in 1975 to Johnny Carson on 1-3 of 1975. That's 1 Corinthians 3, to hunt down all the Apollo, all the good-looking, all the athletes, anybody who has eyebrows, and kill all of them so that the pallbearers who have to put makeup on and draw in eyebrows and uh, do mortician makeup, uh, that's the pallbearers, uh, it could take over the earth, the, the fake beauty, the breast implants, the, the liposuction more likely than the breast implants. Uh, yeah. And so these guys are all mind controlled um, and the people who use them then destroy those families because they didn't understand that they were working against uh, their, their family tree. Uh, in here, uh, Johnny Carson points out that Nancy Reagan is a member of Johnny Carson's species because they're using chromosome 46 instead of chromosome 41. Chromosome 41 is the eyebrows, the skin, the brains, the nerves. Uh, and so uh, chromosome one, just use whichever chromosome is the largest to do the sorting. Uh, then you have the least random and the heaviest weight. If you ever sift something or shake something, uh, whatever's heaviest should always settle to the bottom. And uh, th this is true, vibrator shakers. So if you're trying to find a stable migration for the human species, nobody would be using sex organs. Only serial killers from the 1957 through 1988 uh, radar system, which then became medical doctors, serial killing college girls and college boys uh, and mind controlling them uh, to be LGBT, uh, like that guy who cut off his penis to become a Victoria's Secret model and modeled in 2019. Victoria's Secret is cognitive radar that we can tell everybody that they should all stop doing education and go be pretty and go be salespeople, you know, and go be public relations people uh, in order to keep them out of the dirty work of doing the math. Now, Trump is a safer pick, uh, though we should be defending the eyebrows in China. Uh, all of China's military and stuff have no eyebrows. All their military leaders, uh, the urban people who think they're intelligent have eyebrows. We can all be fooled by inadequate amount of information education, such as sorting via the 46th chromosome, which is so small that in F1 racing, it would fly off. And in marrying and intermarrying, it would have the least gravity and be the most mute, most changeable, uh, having the least uh, mass in the sorting. Uh, it would be the most random uh, feature and the easiest to change. And they noticed that in interbreed and intermarriage that uh, sex size is something they could reduce. So right now, Ronald Reagan and Joe Biden are attempting to murder their first wife and themselves. Uh, they've been doing that since 1993. They did that underneath Obama uh, with helping him break away from his promises to end war and said to hunt down and murder anyone with Joe Biden's eyebrows in every foreign country. Now, I can see that in India. I can see that in Africa. I can see that in China. I can see that in Russia. That's four continents. Uh, some people say India is a subcontinent. The Himalayas are the biggest mountains on earth. You can't call that a subcontinent. It is a continent. It is a continental plate, a tectonic plate. That's really the best way to say continent. If you want to say contiguous, say contiguous. Continent is a different one because ent means inanimate. 
I can't run up that hill. Can you run up that hill? Those are the Himalayas. Those are the highest hills in all the world. And so Ent to inanimate. Uh, so India is a continent. Africa is a continent. Asia is a continent. Russia is a continent. Um, China is a continent. Ugh. Anyways, I, I know they say like Asia, but technically there isn't a Europe if you say Asia. Uh, the mountains are bigger at the Himalayas than they are across the Alps and that. And the Alps also don't bisect the nation vertically or longitudinally. Uh, it's a latitude dimple in the middle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there isn't a Europe if there's an Asia. Okay, that's true. And so anyways, uh, they used to be able to walk all the way uh, from Syria to Germany and from Germany all the way to China around the north of the Himalayas. Uh, people have actually done this and are doing this for real. Uh, again, save the Uyghurs. And um, uh, just as a matter of fact, the reason I started to make this video is most of the United States claims to be German descent. And yet World War II was kill all Germans. And there's still a lot of that. Uh, don't want to talk about it too much, but I love all German food, okay? Eyebrows. Uh, there was like a German... Uh, there used to be a polar line. The center of the earth is, uh, in fact, Sweden, Norway, Norway, Sweden, uh, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, Libya are actually the center. The green demarcation line uh, is not in uh, Europe, is not in England, Greenwich. It isn't there. It isn't the Spain, uh, Portugal border. The actual line is 11 degrees. 35 minutes and 40 seconds east, the actual center that makes a global map is 11 minutes, 35, 35, ah, 11 degrees, 35 minutes, 40 seconds east is the center of everything. They formed a union back before the guns in the 1400s from uh, Vitus of Lithuania. Uh, Europe has been killing Lithuania and uh, Finland, which are members of the in haplo group. Now, that's the small sex gender and, and the origin of that. But all the brains of all the smart people in Europe were married from the in haplo group, which is this southern area, Tibet, etc., uh, of southern China, uh, where all the dealings were through Hong Kong and all that. Uh, they resettled them, and they were using the Nordic, Nordic the northern... Um, Arctic Pass. They weren't sailing around the Great Horn of Africa. They were uh, summer sailing uh, around Russia. The ice forms uh, on the America side, the North America, Canada side, the ice never reaches or almost never reaches. I'm going to say it never reaches. It's always passable. The ice never reaches uh, Russia. You can always sail the Northern Pass. This ongoing Suez Canal and all that is just it's garbage. Um, it's a land war to sabotage the water table of Egypt. Uh, they could always just sail around the Arctic. But these people hate architecture. Uh, they identify themselves as free to escape uh, warrior monks. That means they're celibate because they're in jail. And their goal is to kill anybody who's pretty. It's First Corinthians uh, 3. Then Ezekiel 3, 4 is about sheep and goats. And there's ones about telling all the black hair they have to marry the redheads and the freckles. Then there's ones that say that all the black hair have to marry the chin people. And there's all sorts of uh, hymnals and stuff that do that. Uh, church songs. And it's an ongoing war to kill anybody who's smart. Most everybody in American history who's ever been smart got killed. And... Um, I don't like it. I don't approve of it. I'm one of the founding families. There's also this thing where if you check Sierra Club and the founders were killing the founder of everything. Uh, I've been told repeatedly we're killing all the American founders of the United States, all the, um, what do they call those guys? Founding fathers, killing all those family trees, uh, getting rid of all of them. I've been told that repeatedly, but I'm trying to find evidence of it. When I have found evidence is organizations with photos being discontinued. And it's true that uh, George Bush, or George Bush, it's true that George Washington um, and many of our founders, Jackson, Andrew Jackson, and Thomas Jefferson didn't have any white children, and that they were poisoned to be that way. Uh, it's this herb um, called 
trying to say the herb, not confit, confit or whatever undoes the sterilization of people. Uh, the herb is called wormwood. Like, don't be lukewarm in your faith. Uh, they give wormwood to people, which causes a cessation of egg or sperm production. And uh, it, it's all over the place, and it, you can buy it online. And uh, most of it, since 1988, has been radar that's been killing people's sperm. Uh-huh. And uh, anyway, so there's all sorts of things. like I'm just stopping for a moment. I just wanted to point out that it is not unbelievable that Joe Biden is suicidal and that Ronald Reagan is suicidal because USA went against the, the <clears throat> USA went against the Germans. And most of USA says it's German, Pennsylvania, all that area, uh, all the north, everything north of the Mason-Dixon says it's German. And uh, this is true that it's second language of the entire of the north Mason-Dixon is all German second language. South of the Mason-Dixon, everybody says they're Spanish of Florida and stuff uh, as their second language or their ancestry. And yet American history was always kill the French, kill the Spanish, kill the English. And I, I want to point that out. Uh, even though uh, most USA is Cambridge, uh, the educated consult the Oxford English Dictionary, which says kill all smart people, which means Cambridge did editing of the Oxford English Dictionary. Uh, Al, Alice, and PP Stems and all that. Uh, it's these people uh, being coveted as the deities of all of Europe, the Lithuanians and the uh, Polish Lithuanian Holy Roman Empire, which in Hapo group is all of southern China and not actually of the uh, Russia area. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, check actual numbers, not just um, percentage, but because uh, there's very few people in Russia. And yeah, and so, you know, from the 1300s with Marco Polo. They've been stealing all the smartest people from southern China, interbreeding with them in Lithuania and in the Estonia area in Finland, uh, and using them to birth smarter Europeans to compete against the J. Haplo group and the other smart ones. And unfortunately, N. Haplo group rewrote the Bible. Uh, it wasn't the German Gutenberg. It, it was actually the go forth stuff uh, from the Lithuania area. And the Lithuanians had intermarried with the golden calves or council that had the tan skin, the Mahometan or Mahometans, uh, my home tans, and um, that's of Thomas Jefferson. Uh, there isn't a muzzle him, it's Al Quran, uh, it's Mahometan or Muhammad or people of the Al Quran. Uh, all these words are corruptions of Cambridge English. Cambridge English is to kill all English. So, I mean, the school should be shut down. The uh, meteors are comments that the European Space Agency and NASA are landing on shall be directed to fall on Cambridge without stop. Uh, you know, arm, arm computers, arm processors from Cambridge and the arms in the sky moving around the meteors. It's a black hole. The, the universe is a black hole. They should just drop it on uh, Cambridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cambridge. I can't even do these hand signs correct. Woo, woo. <laughs> on Cambridge. And uh, it, into infinity, uh, drop meteors from the sky on Cambridge, and nowhere else on Earth. Uh, yeah, because they don't have the brain cells, and they keep saying, oh, we, we all hate porn, we all hate that, because they have bigger sex organs. And yet how they're sorting the populations according to sex organs, how they're warring to sex organs, but that's 55 million versus 250 million. Uh, always go with the heaviest stone as the default you know, unit of measurement. Uh, and, and you would never make it the smallest one uh, as the unit of measurement. Uh, a metric and inches and all that. It, it, the base unit is 12. The base unit is a foot, and they divide it by 12 because 12 tribes of one foot. And a foot's a bigger than an inch or this or that. Uh, no one ever chooses the smallest unit as the uh, anchor unit in any kind of math ever. So for all you mathematicians, we're out to murder all of you. Everybody with eyebrows, we're out to murder all of you. It's the way of the smallest sex organs to kill anybody larger than them. But the thing is, they intermarried in order to get brains and um, to steal brains and to jostle brains through other letters. 
because uh, they didn't like being three inches. They're now all four inches are in that area. Uh, and they, they don't understand, like, North Korea, uh, Quran is supposedly where the small sex organs come from. Um, but I look at this map, and in Haplo Group, uh, that's southern China. And so, in order to erase their origins and their brains, they've been killing everybody in China, having China kill all its women, to claim that the albino turkey and the albino chicken and the great white pig are the origin of all intelligence on earth via killing any turkey, any chicken, any pig that was black hair or red hair or anything non-albino. And albino just means the absence of color. There isn't a white race. There's nothing distinguished or majestic about white hair. They were standing on snow. There was nothing to eat. They only could have water. And the water was ionized. And the ionized water erased all hair color from their faces and their bodies and made them albino. It's by eating ionized snow, you become albino. It's not even water itself. It's the ionization of water, such as tritium being radioactive. And other tritiums... Uh, with two O's instead of one, a dioxide tritium, uh, being poisonous and like instantly lethal or something. And this is what happens when you eat snow. And it's not peeing on snow. It's just the environment and ash and fire and radioactive elements. And the, the fire radiating the water creates heavy water, which caused the wash away of um, their skin color. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. I'm going to stop the video there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, need to disqualify Joe Biden as a suicidal leader. USA doesn't want to be suicidal. Uh, impeach, disqualify, and uh, choose whoever the runner-up is. And give Trump a minimum of seven years. Thomas Jefferson's right. The Senate should never be supreme to the president. It shouldn't even be named a president. It should be named Sheffy or Chef. I prefer Sheffy uh, because it's more important to be food agriculture-based then these other jokes of chief and smoke them, uh, wiggum wom them, and all the other fucking jokes. I prefer Sheffy. Uh, people can just get used to how it sounds. Uh, thank you for your time. Joe Biden is a suicidal leader who was killing all Barack Hussein Obama while he was in office. And then together they were bombing UNESCO and giving free weapons to Syria to blow up UNESCO. And everything got worse under them, even though the 2008 campaign of Obama was to uh, end all wars. Instead, they blew up Somalia, um, and they sided with the fat Africans against the uh, fit, athletic Obama Africans. They said, well, this is the Bible people, and the al Quran people have been taking them out of United Nations Bible colleges or Bible schools, not colleges. Uh, the girls bring back our children or bring back or return the girls or whatever. They didn't like the education system, and farming is way better. And the fact is, the education system was run by fat, out-of-shape people that had been killing, such as Sierra Leone. If you look at the medical clinics uh, that Hank Green has been trying to battle and warn us about, uh, something about medicine always leads to people becoming fat and getting rid of all Obama and Michelle Obama and Barack Obama uh, because they have to trust their health to somebody else's needles and knives and all the fat people are told they're bears, they're animals, they're a bull market, they're a bear economy, they're the war people, they're the Grendels, they're, they're the axe tomahawk hunters. And, and nobody ever says that an athlete or a fit or perfect person was ever any of the warrior races. They're, they're always agriculture. So, I mean, it, it's suicide. And, and again, um, Reagan is equal to um, Joe Biden in that. Uh, they set up the data to kill everybody while they're out of office. That also happened with lethal research and money and funding. Flip the budget. Put all the military money on education. Put all the education money on the military. All the military can live in dorms. All the educators can solve the agriculture mystery. It's that simple. If you gave people the time and money, the military gets 3,000 times per person goes on the military. What goes on each civilian in the United States? 3,000 times, $3,000 per one American dollar goes on each soldier. I, right away, you start out with 71% of the tax money, $700 billion uh, for 1 million soldiers, and then $70 billion for 320 Americans or 320 million Americans, uh, $70 billion. Military is 1 million active soldiers and 700 billion. 
And then the American society has to live for an average of 70 to 80 years, average of 70 years. And the military soldiers only have to know what they know for four years of military service. And the numbers are astronomical. It's not just 3,000. It's more like 16 or 17,000 uh, per person. Because uh, it's 10, then it's times 320. Because uh, 700 versus 70 billion, that's 10 times difference. And then 300 uh, versus 1 uh, million is like 300. And then 10 is 3,200. And then you have to talk about life experience, an applicable period of time. That would be uh, 4 divided into, say, 80. Uh, Alexa, what is 80 divided by 4? 80 divided by 4 is 20. So that would be 20 times 3,200 uh, difference in investing. So, Alexa, 20 times 320 times 10. 20 times 320 times 10 is 64,000. So they spend $64,000 per $1 on your children to kill your children anywhere they can find them versus raise them and make them better people in the United States. Because uh, we're talking about a lifetime, 80 years versus four years of kill people. And they're spending $64,000 per $1. Or we could make that simpler. We can make that $128,000 per $2 on uh, each of your child's education. We spend $128,000 uh, per soldier uh, to the $2 spent on to, for that versus $2 on each of your children. Uh, to go to school and to become wonderful 80 year old adults. I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, 22 minutes is my general goal. Bye bye for now. My name is Neil Sandage. I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm the Sandage family of Perry County, Indiana. Been there since 1804. On the first surveys, we own 12 uh, properties uh, from the government for soldiers and for families that are just loyal people. Uh, we're the 12 tribes of Perry County, Indiana. My dad still lives there. I intend to return and live there. I just have to work on my income. Uh, and so I might buy property and retire there. But Perry County, Indiana is forever in the Hoosier National Forest, my home. I'll talk to you all later. I'm in Florida, and I'll talk more about that. Anywhere a forest is a Hoosier National Forest without mowing. Mowing is stupid, and it's conformist, and it means kill the earth. Uh, you, you'd be surprised what it's like to cut off food or water from nature and go, but it's green. Does it matter? It's green. I'm like, you're so stupid. It's like never letting wheat grow. Okay. Uh, you have to let wheat, you have to let blossoms on the citrus trees turn into citrus and mowing is the anti of everything. It's a military against earth. And so anyways, cheers for now.